Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Courtney here and I'm ready to do my Fifty Shades of Purple update. So this, today is, let's just get it out of the way. It's May 24th, so I'm filming this about 15 days late, 10 days late, whatever. So, um, yeah, it's been a struggle. So let's just jump into it. I'm gonna move this pillow because it's very, very warm and I don't want it to be by me. Okay, so, this is a Fantastic Ladies collab. It was started by Man and Jessica, and I want to say CC, but that could be wrong. The creators are in the description box, as well as like everyone who is a part of this collab. Please note I have literally this much makeup on today because it's just, it's just the way we're doing it. I do have skincare on, so my skin is very like glowy, dewy. It looks sweaty for on the camera, but we're gonna go with glowy because that's the nicer way to say it. So starting off, the first product is the Bosha Indigo Eye Cream, which is in this pretty purple container. So right now I am right here at this point. You can kind of see on this side that I've, you know, made like a little dip in there. You need so little of this to do anything. Um, so yeah, I've used a total of 15 times for this project and it is also in my A to Z, so you will see it in the next video as well. Uh, the next item is my Wet n Wild Balm Stain in Lady and the Vamp. I want to use this 50 times for this project, and I have only used it, uh, nine times. That's how much is left. I'm gonna check really quick, but I don't think this has changed. Minutely, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna mark it. So basically the goal for this was to finish it or use it 50 times, whatever comes first. Hopefully... 50 times means it's done because that would be awesome. Um, my Butter Paradise perfume is in the wrong container. Here it is. So I am right there. I've used a total of 15, 18 times. I'm going to go ahead and mark it. With nail polish really quick, this is something that's also in my A to Z project pan, um, so you will see it again, but I'll mark it for this video so I don't have to do this in the next video. There we go. Um, I don't like the smell of this. If you've been here for any amount of time, it's really, really stinky. It makes me sneeze. Not a big fan. Um, the next item is a... Uh, Bath & Butter Works Travel Lotion. So please note, I did have this ready, all marked to film on the 15th. So that's where I was on the 15th. Um, that's where I am now. I'm going to just not mark this again. I'm just going to leave it as like, this is the mark for this update. And um, just go from there. So I'm hoping this will be done in like four months maybe. And then for the rest of the year, I can use the large lotion, which the things that I haven't used at all, I'm just not even going to like show you, obviously, because what's the point? Um, moving on, I have this travel um, Bath Matters spray. All the scents are the Be Enchanted scent, and I am down to right here. So I'm going to mark this. I've used this a, total, a, a lot. I've used this so much. 10, 20, 30, 45, 47 times. Um, this is pretty old, so the scent doesn't really last, so I can, like, spray this on myself when I jump out of the shower, and then get dressed, eat breakfast, do my makeup, and then I'll spray it on my clothes again, so I still smell like it, um, because it fades so fast. So, that's for sure gonna be gone. I'm kind of hoping to get that gone by next update, but I don't know that that's gonna happen. Maybe two updates from now. Um... I have to go get the body wash out of the fridge. Or out of the shower, please hold. Fridge, my god. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ooh, the lighting just got real dark. Um, I was right there, and now I am down to here on the body wash. I have to mark this um, as well. But I've used that a total of 15 times. I feel like that's not right. I feel like I've definitely used it more than that, but who knows. And then moving on to the Studio M nail polish remover. This was completely completely brand new when I started. And now we are down to right here. I do need to mark this. 
I also need to redo my nails, so um, hopefully there'll be some more progress on the nail polishes in the next update. Um, my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I am using this like daily because it's my mascara of the moment right now. So that's moving pretty steadily. I've used it a total of 26 times, 28 times. My little mini like purple rain hand sanitizer is at work. There's a little bit of progress, but not enough. And I didn't take a photo of it when I was there yesterday because this weekend at work was very, very bad. Like personally, professionally, just in general. Well, we'll just leave it at that. So I didn't have time. Um, the next item I haven't even started. Moving on. This is the Maui Moisture Frizz Free and Shea Butter. I was at that sparkly line and now I'm like where my fingertip is. So, um, I don't know. I've used this 10 times, but I started using less of it because it makes it so I have to shower more. Um, but right now it's it's been so hot in Michigan that I've been showering like three times a day because gross um anyway moving on so then i am using my urban decay matte after dark lipstick the goal on this is 25 times i've used it twice there is no uh visible progress because i've only used it twice but i do have it like up next to my bed and i just kind of like rotate through all of these lipsticks what i wear um, next is the NYX Lavender Steel. I want to use this 25 times or to hit pan. That's what we're working with right now. I think if I use a different highlighter brush, I could definitely hit pan easier in all of these items, but I don't want to just, like, I don't know. I do want to hit pan because I want to hit gold, but I also don't just want to, like, last through them if that makes any sense i don't know it probably doesn't but um sorry i'm just trying to get stuff like off the counter in front of me so i can see what i'm working with and then moving on the next item is my becca lilac geode which i love this and i'm gonna see if i can find it on ulta's website before becca completely goes out of business unless i already have i'm very behind on the times that's what I'm working with. This is a 25 time or pan kind of item as well and I've used it 12 times. Um, you can see where I hit my brush the most right there. So this is so pretty. Um, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it on my hand in the light in here. But like on the skin, like like layering it like on my, obviously like my cheekbone and like the bridge of my nose, it looks so pretty, like really natural. It goes really great with the blush that I am panning right now, which is like a shimmery blush, and it just looks super pretty and glowy and healthy, and I have been loving it. I don't know why I sang that part, but I did. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Sorry, you guys. The next item is this My Little Pony and ColourPop highlighter, and um, this is a 25 timer hit pan. I did have to scrape off the hard pan that I got, and so, if you can see, I have hard pan again. So I think at the end of this project, when I hit 25 times or pan, whatever comes first, this is gonna get decluttered because I don't have time for that. I just, I don't. I don't have time to scrape the hard pan off of it every other use. Um, the next item is me. Me, My Little Pony, mm -mm, My Little Pony and ColourPop, the shade Bluebell, which is this white one right here. I've used this a total of six times and I just want to hit pan in it. Um, my ACDC Urban Decay shade I haven't used, so I don't even have it. The Juvia's Place Purple I have used twice. And I want to hit pan is the goal, um, or 50 times. And this is pretty sheer, 
So I like how I've been using this is like look at that you can like really sheer it out is I've been using it super lightly and using it as a transition shade and then going in with this one or the one in my Huda Beauty when I do purple looks and use that as like the darker out of B color. Um, I really like this shadow. I really like that palette in general. So um, the Urban Decay shadows i brought the palette out but i definitely haven't used these at all at least i really i haven't used these because i'm scared i'm pretty sure these are the two that gave me an allergic reaction and so i haven't used them yet and that is all um moving on the sleek solstice uh cream highlighter i can show you where it was last month i don't know that it's changed at all but this is where I am right now. And um, I've used this a total of 14 times. That seems not right. I feel like I've used it way more than that. But that's what I've written down. So I guess that must be the truth. And then I also have this limited edition Wet n Wild shadow. Um, I've only used this twice. And so I don't think it has really changed from my beginning picture. That's what it looks like right now. I did use this as a highlight the other day. Um, cause I was feeling frisky. And I just like really, really buffed it out. Like, like that. So it's just like a silvery, silvery kind of glow on my face. It was cool looking. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely got some curious looks at my job, but I liked it, so I went with it. And then the next item is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Sunbeam. This is uh, where I was. I don't know that it's any different, but this is where I am now. This is getting super dry, and it makes me super sad. Can you see? Will it focus? Okay, it's on my finger. Okay, it won't. But this is a really pretty topper. It's blue and purple glitters. Um, it's definitely not something that can be like worn on its own necessarily. Um, I tried to use it as a base a couple times. That did not go very well because everything just kind of like crumbled off. I was not a fan of that. Um, moving on to some more eyeshadows. I have ColourPop, the Lilac You A Lot palette. And this palette is a hot mess still. I haven't repressed it. And all of my, like this entire row is just like falling out. Along with Cloud up here. Um, I think Cloud is a super shock shadow that's pressed. I don't really know why they would do that in these palettes, but it has come to my attention that they did. So I'm working on filtered and iffy. And maybe I can just do like that so they don't fall out. That's where we're at right now. No real change. Um, I've used, um, I've used them, I've used iffy for four times, three times, three times. And I've used filtered twice. Um, I need to do some more purple looks, but it's just been so hot. I haven't been wearing like really a lot of makeup at all. Um, next is Urban Decay's Bordello. I wanna use this 25 times or hit pan, and this is what it started out as. And then this is what it looks like now. Hopefully you can see that dip right there at the top. And I've used this a total of seven times, eight times, eight times. And um, I have like a pretty good dip going. I really like this. I've been laying this over the silver shade that's in my 50 shades, or no, in my A to Z project pan to dull it or um, like to make it less aggressively silver. And it's super pretty. Um, this is a very cool toned, like purpley pink. And it's, I didn't think it was my vibe, which is why I was trying to just pan it. But surprise, it is my vibe. So, there we go. Um, the Wet n Wild Lavender Out Loud, the gel polish, I want to use 25 times and I've used it four. Um, please hold while I get it for you. It's in this black packaging, so I can't tell. I am going to weigh this 
because I thought to myself, I have a kitchen scale, I could do that. So I'm gonna weigh this and then um, it will be better. I'm gonna open a window, it's so dark filming this right now. Up at all? Kind of, okay, we're going with it. Next is the Essie in Kimono Over. This I wanted to use 20 times, I've used it five. Um, it's just like at that line, like it's so full still. Um, I really don't like this. So when this product is done, this is set to be decluttered for sure. Um, but it is nice for like marking products because it's a dark color, but it's definitely not something that I love. So, and then I have this mini um, lilac, 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 whatever, Wet n Wild and is down to right there. I've used this uh, twice. This is the one that I wasn't sure about in the first like kind of intro update where it's really chunky and can, kind of confusing, but it seems fine. I used it on my nails and nothing bad happened. It didn't pull up the underneath, the polish that was underneath it. It didn't, um, didn't really do anything. So I just kind of went with it. For the next item, I'm using this Sephora Sagittarius lipstick. This is so pretty. Let's just, let's just put it on. It's just like sparkly, but it's dark and it's, it's me in a lipstick. Looks like that. That's how much is left. I really don't think this has changed at all, but you know what? We're gonna freaking check. No, it hasn't. I've used this a total of 10 times. The goal is 20, so I'm halfway through. Um, well, now I've used it 11 times, so look at that. Go us. Um, the next one uh, lipstick is the Estee Lauder and Insolent Plum, which looks like this. It's like a really, really dark, deep, pretty, um, Pretty fun. I've used this five times and there is some progress, so I'm gonna mark it. I feel like if I really tried to pan that, it would go down pretty quickly, but because, or I just really didn't mark it well. So from that line to the edge of the paper or to the little, that line, the perforation is what I'm working with. Um, but my goal is to use this five more times so that I can have it done by next update, just to roll out. Um, the Burt's Bees and Juniper Water, I've used four times. The goal is 20. This is just really, really old. So at the end of this project, it's gonna, it's gonna vamoose goose because it's super, super old. Yeah, I think I was just drunk when I marked these or something because there's no way I marked these correctly. Cause this one's showing it's like way farther down than it is. Well, it do be like that sometimes, I guess. Anyway, um, the next item is the Wet n Wild Vamp It Up lipstick. I haven't used this at all. Don't know why I brought it up. And then I have um, the Simple Colors and Let Me Go, I haven't used. Layout and Lavender, I haven't used. The mini purple one is right here. And this one's actually like down to right there, if you can see it. I have to mark it. And I've used it a total of seven times. Um, that's a really pretty like layering one. And then for whatever reason, I don't know why I did it this way. We're jumping back into eyeshadow. So I was using this dark Huda Beauty one. Um, you can kind of see a dip starting to form. I only used it once and it's already got a dip, which is strange, but, and then I'm using this middle shimmer. I want to use this one 30 times or hit pan. And that one's just a hot mess express. Um, there's a really big dip in there. I really don't love this palette. I'm not gonna be sad when it's like completely out of my collection because it doesn't perform the way I think it should. So, um, moving on. The Juvia's Magic palette, I am working on the shade Faso, which is this purple. 
I've only used this once, but I wanted to either use it 30 times or hit pan, so I need to just pull that one out more. And then for the NYX Full White in White Smoke, I have some progress. I've used this literally every day, um, and I need to sharpen it finally. So I'm not counting this bottom plastic part because I know there's no product in there. So there's that much left. Um, and I usually use this in my waterline. I've used it a total of 24 times. Um, I really like this. I would definitely buy more colors. I had to stop myself from buying a bunch of colors when they first came out. The ColourPop Lippy Stick in Chateau I haven't used. And then the next item is a NYX Butter Lipstick. This is in Moonlit Nights. I actually really like the formula on this. Um, it's super comfortable. The goal was to use it 20 times, and I've used it seven. Um, and it's basically still the same, so I'm not going to remark it. Oh, shiz. I almost just caused calamity. Um, the Essence So What um, nail polish. I was at that top purple line, and now I'm down to this one. This one I marked, apparently. I only marked some things. Come on, focus. So I'm down to there. I really don't like this. If I finish this in this project, the goal is 50 uses. If I finish this in 50 uses, awesome. And if not, at the end of this project, it's going to go away because I really don't vibe with it. Um, that's what I have on right now. And obviously, like, it's a couple of days old on my nails. Like, it's a week old. Can you focus? Thank you. Um, but it is so thin. You have to do, like, three coats. And I just don't have time for that kind of shenanigan. Um, the Revlon in Sultry, you can't really tell, but it's just at like this top line right here, like at the top of the bottle. So I'm probably not going to mark that. And I want to use that 30 times. I've used it three. The Lush Bath Bomb is my empty for this update. Go me. I use it in April. And I did realize that I added the, um, the Wet n Wild Layout and Lavender Nail Polish in twice. So I have added in another product. This is a Tahitian Vanilla Scrub from, it's Tahitian Vanilla Bean, sorry. From Tree Hut, the top is purple and the goal is to use it 50 times. Right now I'm like right here across the board and I've used it a total of 12 times. So, um, I basically just use it every time I shower. Um, I did pull it out around the 15th to like film this and then I never did and I forgot to put it back. It's very sticky. I don't love that. Um, but it is what it is. And then really quickly, somehow I missed talking about this palette. Where are these on this list? Mm, struggling, struggling. Me, me having to edit this, pray for me because yikes to myself. Um, I was working on the top two, Cosmic and Milky Way, and I've used Milky Way three times. Um, these are usage of 30 times. I don't, these are bake shadows, so I don't really know that I can hit pan on these, but I just want to use them a number of times. I really love this palette. It's why I haven't gotten rid of it and it's so old, but I just, I love it and I can't get rid of it. So there's that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so sorry. This was so, uh, I want to say chaotic, but that's not even the right word. It's just, that's how it's going. I am also going to film really quick my A to Z uh, update after this or so you might see this after that update or before that update. I'm not really sure, but I love you guys. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.